What up guys, before starting the tutorial I would like to thank you all um, for the good feedback I got on the video I posted yesterday. Um, so a lot of people wanted the tutorials back and some people also wanted minigame reviews and there were also some people who would like to challenge me and also some people wanted to see um, me go behind the scenes of some minigames we made. So tutorials will be weekly again from now on and minigame reviews will be once in two weeks and I will go behind the scenes um, maybe once two weeks as well I don't know and about challenging yeah you can just leave challenges in the comments and we'll see about that uh, so in today's tutorial I'm going to show you the benefits of transferring multiple signals over um, a lower amount of wires so I'm talking about having six different signals and travel it over only three wires and the way we can do this is by using encoders and decoders so this tutorial is basically about encoders and decoders so over three wires we can transfer over eight different signals and how do I manage to do this well if we make combinations using these three wires and not just have like this wire is a signal so if this wire is on it's going to toggle something and if this wire is on this is going to toggle something no we are going to make a group of these wires and what i just selected is something totally different than for instance this because we are taking it as a group so we are basically making a code for instance this one is off off on and a totally different code would be off on on or maybe on 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 so if you get what i'm saying then you basically understand how we can make multiple signals over only three wires and we can do this with as many signals as, as we want but there's just a limit to the amount of signals you can get over a certain amount of wires for instance three wires is eight four wires is 16 five wires is 32 and it just keeps multiplying by two so that's basically the amount of signals we can make and for three wires i have each different signal each possible signal um, shown here on the redstone lamps so the first signal would be off 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 then off off on off on off off on on etc so with these eight different signals we can cut these eight wires down to only these three wires so that's a whole difference and it's a lot more compact than the eight wires we had before but now we know that we can store multiple signals in a certain amount of wires how do we store it in there well that's actually the the easiest part and the device we're using for this is called an encoder so that's one of the two things i'm i'm learning you today and for instance i want to store the signal on off on i'm just placing torches where the signal has to be on and then I'm just going to place redstone all over it and invert it so it's default turned off so the signal is not constantly being passed through and then we can activate it with a lever for instance or any other signal you want and yeah we can basically call this signal one and we can keep adding signals in the same way by just making different patterns with the torches so our second signal could be something that looks like this so yeah we would have to extend the wires a little out so it can influence redstone but yeah that's it that's that's basically an encoder and if you want an easy way to um, have each and every signal that is possible uh, without having to yeah, think about it and check did I already use the signal so there's a really easy way to um, line up each 
possible signal you can have and that's basically the following so if uh, if this block is our first um, um, combination yeah then it's obviously going to be off 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 but yeah just keep that in mind so for the first line we're going to repeat the pattern nothing a torch nothing a torch nothing a torch etc and for the second line we're just going to multiply everything by two so we're going to do two times nothing then two times torch two times nothing two times torch etc then for the third line we're multiplying this by two so four times nothing and four times a torch and now i just made every single combination we have and yeah it's just exactly the same as we did with the redstone lamps so now you know how to make an encoder we just need to learn what a decoder is and a decoder is just doing the opposite thing so we are starting from these wires and we are determining if either this wire is turned on or this wire is turned on or any other combination we can make and i will show you three different designs and i'm first going to show you the easiest design but it's not the most efficient one so how do we do it well if we for instance use this signal as an example we are going to need to have all the signals inverted so that every signal is going to give an off signal when we have the combination off on on and yeah as you can see if we would invert these two then we have this so we have each signal to off but if we want to decode multiple signals we have to use a different way because otherwise we can't grab the signal again for a different combination and yeah you'll see uh, what i'm talking about in, uh, in a second so we are going to do it like this invert this as well but just in a different way and we can't just grab the signal out of this one because then it's going to interfere if we just connect it together like this then if one of these torches turns on the the this wire is also going to turn on and that's absolutely not what we want so how do we do it well we just invert it twice so we put a torch on the side and then again a torch on this side so now we have basically the exact same thing as we had before but we just separated the signal from the from the main wires and now i'm just running um, blocks all over it so each torch is powering this line of redstone so if one of these torches somehow turns on the whole wire is going to turn on and the torch here this is our output is going to turn off so that's basically the decoder and because you're most of the time decoding multiple signals i'll show you how to extend it so we just place repeaters like this pointing out of the block and now we just extend the signal and if you want to decode another signal we just repeat the same thing we activate our second signal and we just again invert everything that is off by default uh, on by default sorry and we invert everything that's off by default twice run a wire over it redstone and that's our output so as you can see now this one is turned off and this one is turned on so if we would turn both on nothing is going to happen and that's something you have to keep in mind when working with these sort of um, compact wirings because you can never ever have two signals at the same time traveling over these wires because it's going to create a different combination so on 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 would be a totally different number than any of these we just programmed in and yeah the same thing when we turn everything off 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 is as well a combination so if you want to use each and 
every single combination that is possible of 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 is also one you have to decode because otherwise you're going to end up with seven different combinations instead of eight so keep that in mind if you're building this yourself and you're wondering what the hell is the eighth um, possible possibility because it's just everything off so now um, end of talking um, we'll go over to the more useful designs that are faster because as you can see we need to place a repeater every other block so it's going to have a one tick delay every two signals we decode because yeah if you extend the signal again you can use redstone dust because the repeater is powering the block and then if you want to extend it again we, we use repeater again etc and the second design i'm showing you um, can decode five signals every one tick so that's more than double in speed and how do we make it well um, the pattern is a little bit different we place two blocks like this then one block open two blocks like well just one block down two blocks like this again one block down uh, sorry two blocks like this and you just keep repeating it okay so i just finished building these three wires and what you do now is place glowstone right here and yeah this is where the magic happens so before glowstone had it had some awesome properties we couldn't make decoders like this so yeah that's really cool that um, now we can so now you place blocks here and these have to be solid blocks because we're going to place um torches and, and stuff uh, on top and on the side of it so no glowstone here and if you did this you're just going to do the same as we did here so i'm just going to quickly um, get a signal so off on off we are going to invert each signal that is turned off and invert each signal that is turned off twice yeah i don't know if i said off here but yeah it's on so it is exactly the same thing as we did with um, the decoder over there only with less delay run a wire over top redstone on top and that's our output so as you can see no repeaters used over here so it's a lot faster and if you um, run out of um, the, the redstone current so after 15 redstone pieces you have to place a repeater um, in one of the gaps like this you can't place it on top because then it's not going to work you have to place it somewhere in between the wires so that's how you extend the signal then the last one i'm going to show you is a vertical design which is also very useful and even faster because we can decode up to seven signals a tick so yeah it's also using glowstone and we basically basically make the, the glowstone staircases and yeah i'll just keep repeating these and i'll see you after that okay so i just finished making these staircases now up to the decoder um i'll just quickly program a signal in off on on keep that in mind and how do we decode it well we are going to create a checkerboard so we are basically um, doing this we are just repeating what we did with the closed home but now just with solid blocks and yeah you do it for each single wire so i'm just going to quickly do that okay so now you're done doing that we're just going to decode our first signal so that's on on off each signal that is on we're just going to infer again like this and each signal that isn't on and i forgot to place this box we're not inverting and we're also not inverting um, two times like we did before but we're just placing a repeater like this so it's going to grab the current from this redstone piece and it's going to power the repeater yeah if it is powered so as you can see we have our um, typical end gate everything is turned off so we just run a wire like this and we place a redstone torch on the side 
and it's turned on, so we successfully decoded our first signal. If I flick a lever here, it's going to turn off. So let's decode a second signal, and it's going to be on on off. Again, the same principle, repeater over here because it's turned off, and a torch, and a torch over here because they are both turned on. And then we just connect them all together. Redstone over the blocks, torch on the side, and we successfully decoded our second signal. And you can just keep repeating this, and if you run out of redstone current, it's a very, very easy to extend it. You just place torches on top, put a block on it, and now it just again repeats the, the glowstone staircase. So yeah, that's that's basically all there is to it. Redstone on top of this. There's just one thing I should note about extending the current. As you can see, it gets inverted. So Everything is done the other way, so if it, the signal is off, now it's going to be on after it's being inverted. So I just advise to look at um, the inverted current instead of looking at the bottom over here, because yeah, you're just going to have to think twice, and if you look here, you just have to think once, and yeah, just think like, okay, so it's turned on, I have to place a torch, and you're going to end up with um, the exact inverse thing of this. So yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you all learned something, and I'll see you next time.